Dear God, we lift our hearts to you in gratitude for orchestrating this holy union between Ben and Paige. You have created an unlikely union, bringing together a young lady from northern Minnesota and a lad from the faraway country of Northern Ireland. Paige, you're the most stunning bride I've ever seen. Ben, you look well. <laughs> ben and I were obviously very close growing up. People might say back home that it must be hard for your brother getting married um, in a different country. And I always say, no, realistically, it was the hardest point five or six years ago um, when he went to America for the first time. When Ben was younger, he had uh, very big bog teeth and he looked, he looked like a wee rabbit. <laughs> we were uh, playing dark. I um, off a top bunk bed, jumped on his back, put him straight down and his teeth hit the ground. They both snapped clean off. But he can't be too hard on me for that because he's got his teeth fixed and he looks a lot better. <laughs> Don't you buy it? I consider myself very blessed to have a sister like Paige. She has always been the kindest and most loving and caring person. I'm so grateful to have grown up with you and I have so many amazing memories with you. Paige, I have to tell you how much I love you. You've been a great mentor to me throughout my entire life and made such a beautiful impact in so many places. I'm so lucky that I get to be your little sister and have been able to learn from both you and Sydney, but mostly you. <laughs> <laughs> when she first told me about Ben, she just, it was so different than anything else that I've ever heard her talk about. She's like, Bailey, he's just so good. He's just so good, Bailey. And, and I, I knew right away that he was going to be the one that we are going to see sitting next to her today. And I, I'm so grateful for you, Ben, that you came into her life and just made it all the more special. <sighs> oh, darn it. And I'm so happy that you guys found each other and that I get to be friends with you guys now for the next, like, hundred years. It'll be fun. <laughs> I want to welcome everyone here uh, to this, this wedding here in this, in this beautiful church with this incredible couple. One of the things that we just need to do before we do anything else is just even just take a moment, give God praise for bringing Paige and Ben to this place in their lives where they get to covenant themselves to each other in Jesus' name. One of the things, uh, this is just, it is, you guys ordered great weather. It's like this in Duluth all of the time. You're so loved, not just by each other, but by everyone who's here, I mean, the fact that so many people have traveled so far to be with you here uh, on your wedding day. I mean, whole families from Thief River Falls traveled all the way over here, halfway across the state. You know, people from Minneapolis. It's amazing how far people have come. <laughs> of course, Ben's family and friends just across the ocean. They traveled across the ocean just to be, how loved are you, Ben? Like, how much do your family and your friends absolutely absolutely love you. I, I, I've never met one person in the United States who when you don't bring up Ireland, they're like, oh man, well, you know, my great, great, great grandfather was from Ireland. And like, everyone wants a piece of you guys. Like, it, that's how it is. So much so that some of us are even willing to marry you. That's how much Paige wants some Ireland, you know? I think there's something about Ben that is unique. Um, and, and again, maybe it's, maybe it's, maybe it's his Irish, maybe it's his Cullen that ever since I met Ben, he's kind of just, I would say, intense. Is that, I mean, has he always been that way? He's, has he always been like, present? I can imagine. He just kind of is unstoppable. You all know his friends and his family who are going back to Ireland. You know that he's made this decision to abandon you all. <laughs> You've helped him become that kind of man who can, who can leap forward. You've helped him become the kind of man 
who can make an unstoppable commitment for love and for his bride. As, uh, as, as long as I've known Paige, there is a word that um, it maybe gets overused, but I think it's super appropriate when it comes to her. Paige is a woman of grace. She's such a woman of grace. You truly are the perfect description of someone who is such a beautiful person on the inside and out. I could not ask for a better sister to have in my life. You really only deserve the best, because to me, you are the best. I love you so much, and what makes me the most happy is that I know Ben loves you just as much as I do. I, Benjamin, take you, Paige, to be my wife. I, Benjamin, take you, Paige, to be my wife. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you all the days of my life. I, Paige, take you, Benjamin, to be my husband. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. I promise to be faithful to you in good times and in bad. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love you and to honor you all the days of my life. To love you and to honor you all the days of my life. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you and remain with you always. Amen. And that's my honor and privilege to present for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Benjamin Cullen. Okay, Ben has limited me to three minutes apparently, which is nowhere near long enough to tell you what a special young man he is. So I leave that up to himself as he will do it. As a family we are especially close, so it made it very hard when he made his decision to study and play soccer in the US. However, that closeness has stood by us and hasn't lessened with our continued contact. And no matter how hard it was, Karen and I continued to support him as best we could. Two years ago when Ben graduated, he met Paige. She was delightful. And now we are much more content, content to know that he has been welcomed into such a loving family. The gift that I've got is the comments that I get about Paige. And the one that sticks out in my mind is that she has a gift to make everybody in the room feel like the most important person there. That's what he saw in her. He's a great guy. She's a great girl. We love our mixed family now. We're very proud to call you fellow family members. There's something about dancing with your dad. It's, <laughs> it's good. My dad is extremely kind. He works harder than anyone I know. Very fun to be around. My dad means more to me than he will ever know. <laughs> dad, I just really, really want you to know how much I love you. I love talking with you. I love hugging you when I hate saying goodbye. You are one of those people that I know I can always come to. Thank you for trusting me with picking such a wonderful person. There's no words to tell you how much I love you. How you will always be one of my most favorite people. Paige said about Ben. Ben has made me extremely happy from the very start. 
he can still always make me laugh. Ben is such a wonderful man. He's always polite, respectful, caring, and loyal to everyone around him. This horizon, it's shining. Seems the daylight knows this is our time now. Ben is courageous, honest, and he couldn't possibly care more about me. I feel so loved, supported, comforted, and admired by him. I know he'll always be there for my friends and family, and always stand by my side. He makes me proud to be his wife. I love him. Ben said about Paige, how Paige treats people is something to be admired. And it's something I noticed about her from the first day I met her. Paige is very genuine, intelligent, ambitious, and a fantastic cook. Paige helps me achieve much more than I ever thought I could, and I'm pretty sure I'll live much longer as her husband than if I'm not. We compliment each other. She's the nicest person I know. I love her hair, her smile. She has the most beautiful eyes. I love her. Starts today. Mr. and Mrs. Ben and Paige Cullen.